Bo Dealey, and welcome to Something Edible. You know, it's getting to be that time of year around here. Fall, everything's crazy. Kids got tumbling, kids got sports, uh, homework, uh, everything else that goes with fall. And it's busy for us too. And sometimes it's just a chore to get dinner on the table. Well, I got a skillet chicken and pasta recipe that uh, comes together in about 20 minutes or so, 30 if you take your time. It, it comes together quick. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it today. I've got here, I've got roughly about a half pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I know it makes me fall asleep every time I say it, but you know, it's, it's, it's a boring meat, but it works here and it's not going to get tough. It's not going to get dry. We'll, we'll make it work. So we've got a half pound here, uh, cut in about, oh, about one inch cubes. These are, this is one really big chicken breast and it's all thawed and everything. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a, a half teaspoon of kosher salt to that. And we're also going to add a teaspoon of salt-free seasoning. Salt-free seasoning and, uh, and salt. Tastes good together, who knew? And then we're also going to add two teaspoons of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna coat this. You can use a spoon if you want. My hands are clean. I'm just gonna get it done here. So we're gonna mix this up. And really what we're doing here is we're coating this in flour and seasoning and we're also doing another thing here which is uh, we're kind of creating this dry brine situation on the chicken to where that salt is going to draw out some of the moisture and then draw and then the chicken's going to draw the salty solution back in and it's going to keep it from drying out and being tough and still being cooked all the way through. So that's, that's pretty good right there. Okay, so in this nonstick skillet, or you can use, uh, you wanna use cast iron, you can do that too. We're gonna set this thing to medium high, and then we're going to add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. And we'd use two kinds of oil here in order to uh, get our um, flavors moving. You know, it's, it's a nicer flavor. You can use all olive oil or you can use all butter. And then you're going to put one minced clove of garlic in there. And while that melts and the garlic starts to just brown a little bit, we're going to go come over here and mess with our water. I've got water under a boil here and I'm going to add two smashed cloves of garlic so we can season our pasta. This is the only chance you're going to get to season your pasta, so we need to do it now. I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt. You want that water good and salty, we're making pasta here. And then we're going to add eight ounces of rotini pasta, or whatever pasta you like, you know. Oh, I missed one, there it is. Okay. So all that's in there. We're going to set our timer for about, about six minutes, and we're going to stir this every once in a while to, to check on it. Okay, our garlic is just starting to brown. Our oils are starting to sizzle. It is time to add the chicken. Our chicken's been uh, sitting there dry briny. See, it looks a little more moist than when we started. That's, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna take this out of here and I'm going to spread it in here. Just spread it out in that, uh, in that garlicky grease. And as soon as you've got it covering the bottom of the pan, just leave it alone. Don't even mess with it. You're gonna, you're gonna leave it there for about two minutes and uh, then we can start to mess with it. In the meantime, your pasta is still boiling. We got over a rolling boil here and uh, we're gonna check on that at the end of six minutes to see if it's done or not. And you'd want it just about done, not quite done, but just about. It's still gonna be just an ever so raw on the inside. Okay, we're about two minutes out on medium high. This chicken is as done as we want it to be right now, and I know it's not completely done. It looks pink, in fact, but that's okay. But we do have on the other side is we got all this brown goodness that we wanted. I'm gonna give this a quick flip. See how that chicken's brown? That's exactly what you want. And it's actually, if we leave it be like this, it's actually gonna start to burn, and we don't want that. And the way we prevent that from happening is adding a full bag 
of frozen stir fry vegetable medley. This is about 12 ounces. That's going to lower the temperature of the pan and allow us to keep it on medium high for now. Put that in there like that. You can hear it sizzling. It's going to be about five minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to reserve some pasta water. This pasta is just about done cooking and that water is nice and salty and starchy. That's a seasoning in itself. Take more than you think you'll need. I'm going to take about a cup here. Hear how the sizzle calm down when the, uh, when the uh, frozen vegetables hit? And I know it looks like a lot right now, but uh, that's going to continue to shrink in there too. Just keep poking at it and breaking it down and uh, give it a stir every once in a while to make sure that nothing burns. So we've got our pasta drain. I've also, uh, we can start watching this now. I turned my heat down to medium, medium low, just to make sure we've got plenty of heat in there and I don't want to burn anything. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making my sauce. So to begin, we are going to add just a little bit more salt. It's optional, but I think it needs it. Half teaspoon. We're also going to add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A third of a cup of low-fat sour cream. Over here, I have three strips of bacon, two, two, three, as much bacon as you want, two or three uh, strips of crumbled bacon. And I'm also going to add just a little bit more of that uh, uh, salt-free seasoning. I think another teaspoon is in order there. And now we've got all that together. Give it a stir. And if that doesn't look like a sauce yet, it's because we're not there yet. We need to add a little of that pasta water that we reserved. And so now I'm going to add about a half cup of that reserved pasta water. And then I'm going to add my pasta back again. Now you're going to want to control your heat here a little bit. If it started to burn on you, then uh, it's not going to burn on you anymore. It's time to bring that, that heat back up. So I'm going to bring my heat back up to uh, medium, medium high so that sauce can reduce a little bit. I'm starting to get a pretty full skillet here at this point, but that's okay. You can also do this. I mean, I grabbed the nonstick skillet because I know everybody has nonstick skillets. You can also use a cast iron skillet here. In fact, that's my preference. You get a 12-inch cast iron skillet in here, and uh, you'll be uh, you'll have plenty of room. You don't have to worry about crowding the pan, but uh, you get the idea all the same. This is starting to make its own sauce. The starches in the pasta water are starting to thicken things up. And really, at this point, um, if you're about five minutes out from dinner, everything's going to be sauced just right, and you're going to get enough evaporation here that it's all done. And uh, we can go ahead, I think, and cut the heat and plate this up. All right, so off the skillet, off the stove, got our skillet here. I'm going to dish me some out. It's kind of neat because this makes its own sauce. And, you know, they sell those... They sell those packaged dinners that basically are the same thing as this. And, you know, it just shows you how easy it is to actually make this at home. So, looking at this, we've got, we've got plenty of meat in there for you carnivores. We've got just as much uh, green vegetables for the, uh, for the uh, vegetarians in the crowd. Well, not really. There's meat in here, but you get the idea. You got a whole... You got a whole uh, skillet full of dinner and all your food groups. You throw a glass of milk at this with your kids and assuming that they eat their green vegetables, which they really should, then, uh, then you've got, you know, dinner 
whipped right here. You can throw a loaf of crusty bread along with this and, and you are set. And if you're only cooking for two, then you've just made uh, enough to feed four and that means you'll have uh, leftovers for tomorrow too. So, you know, for a meal for families that move as fast as life does, I think this works pretty good. Let's, let's get a taste. That's good. I'm going to get a piece of chicken too. The chicken's really where it's at. You, you ever get those box dinners that uh, they just, you know, the chicken's done or it tastes off or something? That's not the case here. The chicken's done perfectly because uh, you didn't overcook it and we took the time to season it before we put it in the skillet. It works perfectly. Ditto for the pasta. So many times pasta gets overcooked, but because you're following this skillet method and, and not overcooking your pasta, you actually finish the pasta cooking in the skillet. It, it all comes together and it makes it look like you know what you're doing even when you don't feel like you do. So if you want to try this easy garlic chicken pasta skillet, uh, you can log on to uh, hdnews.net and get the recipe there. And if you'd like to see more of my method or, you know, this happened pretty fast. If you'd like to see it slow down a bit, then you can read all about it at your own pace on my site, somethingedible.com. But uh, if you do have questions, you can always hit me up on Facebook or Twitter uh, and see what I'm doing there. So until next time, feed your family good. See ya.